help us out, chat. I, hopefully everybody's still around. It doesn't look like... Oh, yeah, there it goes. Sweet. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. Oh, hello, Plus Trap. We're finally getting... Are we too hello. loud? There we go. We got one. We don't have... We don't have a uh, filthy... Fine, okay. Let's see the headset. Let's see what, up here. what kind of technological differences we're experiencing? This one's pretty bad. But we will definitely have to extend it for y'all because of this. Yeah, no, we're going to start over from scratch. I don't even know if you guys heard the start. Hello, test one. Okay, now I'm filthy as Mike's work. Woohoo! Ah, damn. Trust us, we're professionals. We've had a hell of a morning. This morning Trust guys. us, we know professionals. <laughs> we do know professionals. We are, we are the most professional people around here. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Alrighty, there okay, we go. Did you guys hear the uh, intro? Probably not. No? Maybe? Plus Trap? Well, he said he's going to subscribe uh, to Twitch tomorrow since everyone was shut today. Okay, alright. Does that make sense? Well, yeah, it's like cash. it's over like set. It's like seven or something there. Oh, okay. It's in the UK. All right. Heard about college football? Okay, so you only heard about college yep. football. Okay. We'll go ahead and start this from scratch here. Uh, you guys get a little toned down intro. <laughs> Too much. Oh yeah, I bet. Especially for Michigan. Yeah, taking your top, your top off. off, perfect. Your top off. That's good. perfect. Yeah, you guys missed some gold shit. Some <laughs> so it'd be uh, hey aficionados. Yep. Yes, and welcome to the lounge. Uh, today we are smoking the Camacho Ditka Special, alongside Fernandez New World, and then followed up with that is the Esteban Carrera yep. um, Brownstone. This is Brownstone. So. We'll go ahead and switch over to that slide. Um, maybe you'll hear about the taking your top off part. Maybe. You no, know, we might keep it a secret. Yeah. But again, we, we, we were talking about uh, Hurricane Dur Durian, Dorian, however the hell you say it. Yeah, um, it's going to fuck which, up everybody on the East Coast. Yeah, which yeah. is passing by Florida. And of course, Florida being one of our favorite states uh, yeah. in, in history. I'm actually going to lead it off with our first FTMO. What? Um, okay, hang slow your roll. Slow my roll? Slow your roll. Slow it. Plus Trap, I saw uh, your subscription thing. We are going to start doing giveaways every month for the Cigar of the Month. Mm -hmm. So this month, we announced it last podcast, sort of. We peaked it. This yep. is an official announcement that the Esteban Carrera Unforgiven yep. is going to be uh, our Cigar of the Month this Specifically month. Specifically in the bullet size, which yep. is their... I think it's the smallest entry of the series, but it, it is, is their highest rated variant. It is, yeah. And uh, today, if you want to be part of the getaway, giveaway, you do have to sub. Um, plus, Trap, since you're in the Discord and everything like that, I know you, I trust yep. that you'll subscribe. Um, not a big deal, but I'll put you in the roll today. Yep. So if you're subscribed, make sure, yeah, stay, stick around yep. till the end, because we'll do the roll at the end. Um, and then uh, I want to thank for all the follows from last stream, uh, Soundcard and all those guys. Uh, Soundcard won our last yep. giveaway. So he'll be shipped uh, Punch Diablo on Monday, yep. or Tuesday, because it's a holiday. Yep. Um, and then, uh, yeah, then we can slide right on into the FTML yep. one. There we go, a little bit better. Okay, so our first one here is uh, involves a, uh, a blank man who chewed up a police car seat after a cocaine arrest. And that is blank man, not black man. Yep. So, choose a police car seat after cocaine arrest. Yep. He must have been high off his yeah. fucking ass. Very. Unless he's from Florida. <laughs> Unless he's from Florida. <laughs> <laughs> then <laughs> then it was kind of like day. a mediocre, <laughs> like, that's just kind of your everyday crackhead. <laughs> <laughs> Got some work to do. Not a problem, man. Just come in at any time you need yep. to. Let's see uh, here. Let's see. Man, that's... Uh, well, once again, Florida. That's why it's at the <laughs> top of the list. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm gonna try and go for a little Ohio action, so we're going uh, other. Okay. Uh, we got two votes for Florida, uh, two votes for other. So if you said other, uh, even meme is going even Florida. Meme is going Florida. Well, that's that's when you know it's probably Florida. <laughs> uh, I'm going other on this one, and I'm going to. It, it's hard because I think it's more of a. 
I'm gonna go with Nevada on this one. <laughs> cocaine, I think it's more cocaine of is a... such a, a problem everywhere, yeah. And, yeah. and that's what makes it difficult. It is, yeah. Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking. Nevada. That's a, Nevada. Yeah, I'm going, going Nevada. Nevada. Well, I don't think we've ever had one from Nevada. Mm, I believe no. we have had Have one. we? Yeah. Have we? From Nevada? It's hard to remember. We played this game uh, so much. outside of the lounge. Yep. Yeah. But, um, oh, we have oh, a Ohio. Ohio. Two for Ohio. Ohio. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Ohio's gaining very. We, we might have we might have to put it you know FTMOO, FTMO yeah, or FTMO squared. Yeah, right. is squared. But chewing up car seats is a Florida problem. Yeah, it is in and of itself without the drugs. <laughs> so, the so drugs. is that so you you know how parents sometimes leave their kid in a hot car? Is that what they do? Do they just start that eating the? happens everywhere though. Yeah, but yeah, do they just start everywhere. eating, eating the, the, the seat? Seed? Yeah. Is that just what happens? Oh man, it's good. It seems like that's only a summer thing. The, the, <laughs> the summer treat that really hits the spot. Why don't kids freeze to death? Yeah, the kids never freeze to death. <laughs> well, that's a good question. That is a good question. Has that ever happened? I don't I've think not so. heard. It's I've not. It's not. That. It's not at least widely I mean, reported. Like I've been in a, like a super cold vehicle, and uh, yeah, we fixed. Yeah, shit. Man. What do you shit. think we're amateurs? You think? Yeah. You're like seven <laughs> minutes behind. <laughs> Oh, well, trust me, uh, Wrench and Hammer, everybody missed the intro. Yeah, everybody. <laughs> yeah, everybody. <laughs> you missed the shit show, my friend. <laughs> yeah, congratulations. You arrived to the we normal. We did. So, yeah. our, our batteries were dead. We couldn't find the batteries. Yeah. <laughs> like, I love yeah, this shit. So do we. Awesome. So do we. We couldn't find the batteries either. Yep. So it was about to be an even bigger shit show. The, did he want to record? It, it will be in the VOD, yes, but it will be in the uh, VOD. you won't be able to hear anything because it, it'll, it'll literally happening. just be silence with some some so smooth. So right jazz. now we were talking about kids getting locked in cars in the summertime, but they never seem to get locked in cars in the wintertime. At least dying it's weird. in the wintertime. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't. I mean, because it gets cold some places. Yeah, you know, I know people have got to do their their gambling and you know stuff like that without their kids. So what else are you gonna do with them? You know, so that can't just happen in the summertime. Yeah. So I don't. Maybe it's, I don't know. is it easier to leave the heat on than leave the AC on? <laughs> I guess. <laughs> sort of like a big metal sleeping. Yeah. Thing. Yeah. Uh, it, it gets cold as hell. Yeah, it, but not as cold as outside though. Yeah, exactly. I, I've been in super cold cars and it's it's not that bad. I remember when we were in the Buick a long time ago. Uh, and we went to Micah's birthday party, and mm. that was a whole adventure. Oh, we, man, that we was We sat in the cool. car for a little while trying to figure out what to do, and it was getting cold, but it wasn't Yeah, you know, wasn't that, that cold. That was a nightmare for you guys. That was hilarious. <laughs> well, if you guys haven't heard this story, uh, we were going to uh, Micah's uh, birthday party here in Indiana, and uh, somehow we were given the wrong address to the hotel. Which is weird. It was super weird. <laughs> That mess. Oh god. The funny thing is, on the way to the first hotel, we almost died like twice. And then we we literally sat in the hotel parking lot contemplating if we should keep even keep going, keep trying. And I was like, no, we gotta keep trying. It's Micah's birthday. So um, as we were about to figure it all out, uh, the cops saw us and apparently someone across the parking lot just got snatched for marijuana they were just sitting in the hotel parking lot smoking up oh. so he came over to us and was like what the hell are you guys doing We're like well you know trying to explain the whole situation it sounds like complete shit to this guy <laughs> yeah. you know it's, it's like we were, we got to the wrong hotel we're going to some kids birthday party like <laughs> <laughs> got a trunk full of beer yeah we're underage we just don't know what to do officer <laughs> It was great, though. We ended up going, we had a blast, yep. but still, it was a fucking trip. This just in. Uh -oh. So, I don't know if you guys have heard how the Cleveland Browns chopped down their roster to 53 players, <laughs> but they just picked up, uh, just now, uh, three more. Uh, um, Malik Jefferson, Kaderil Hodge, and Ricky Seals-Jones. But, on top of that, they have made a few other moves in terms of uh, getting the Scottish Hammer to be the starter of their punting. So... Anyways, yeah. um, <laughs> Indiana is replacing all of their chargers with Teslas. Are they? Oh, yeah. Fun fact. That. Yeah. yeah. That's yeah. huge. So 
and now it's all you gotta do is wait for them to run out of battery. And yep, just, and then you're good to go because you can go 400 miles on a gas tank, like in a tank of gas. gas. Yeah. In a, in the a, Teslas usually only have about 200, but 250. Yeah, that's but you have to imagine they they've probably been driving around for a little bit. Exactly. And they probably got you know a sweet deal with Tesla, and they can go faster that drain so it drains the batteries quicker. Awesome. So they probably have a, a shorter range. Maybe. So So uh, we agree that this is not a good idea. Yes. Well, no, it is a good idea. Is it? Yeah. I, I don't think it is. No. Why, why not? I can get away from the cops now. Well, okay. Well, in, in that regard, <laughs> yes, it's a great idea. Yeah, no, good idea on their part. On their no, part, it's, no. No, it's, <laughs> it's the thing no they definitely need to stick with... But when with... you consider the state... Eh. Yeah. 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 <laughs> they already have issues yeah. anyways. Yep. <laughs> Mike Pence made sure of that. <laughs> Which is now the vice president. Yeah. <laughs> yeah they won't hear you sneaking up. up. That is true. <laughs> yeah, true. That is true. In case, you're, in case you're hiding out in somebody's backyard and you see a Tesla come around the corner in the backyard. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> Cop Tesla. Yeah, the cool thing is, though, you might get outrun if it's a P85D model. Cause I know the P85s, dude, they would crush my car. Yeah. I mean, for a short period of time. Yeah. Until they ran out of juice. Not no. in, You're not into modern cars. That was probably a huge echo. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> also, it's a felony to run from. Yeah, thanks, what? Shadow Car. Jeez. Yeah, we know that much. I don't have a felony. I've done it twice, so <laughs> get out of town. <laughs> people without getting out of their vehicle now yep yep people that say that are not good at gta yeah <laughs> yep. cops all the time get away with it get away from so you so plus trap you would rather roll around in a buick saber no he, he'd want the that one cadillac the eldorado yes okay that's still curvy though and plus, just between me and you, there's no such thing as too curvy of anything. Oh, plus size models for the win. <laughs> <laughs> Full support. Full support. <laughs> and did you see that uh, one company that was getting sued for using normal models to display plus size clothes? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> It was bad. You know what? I actually saw a picture of that. Yeah, it, like, it was an they, ad. Yeah, they would like hold the like the underwear or the yeah. pants, but both their legs would be in one. <laughs> <laughs> like, well, that's like a beetle way too curvy. Damn it, Shadow, that's the way Hitler wanted it. Curvy. You know, curvy. It looked like a curvy. <laughs> What is it? God, right on blog plus. This <laughs> is curvy as like a Lamborghini, which has curves everywhere. <laughs> Lamborghini doesn't have any curves. Yeah, it's, it's all edgy. It's all edgy. Oh, but it's the I-10. I'd love a shitty American car. I got my grandma Hyundai I-10. <laughs> Wait, that doesn't make sense. The Hyundai I-10 isn't a jump. shitty American car. <laughs> Just fast. Jump, <laughs> <laughs> buddy. <laughs> oh, it's... There was um just like my humor. <laughs> just like my humor. Um, there was a guy. Uh, so you know about the the Popeyes chicken sandwich. How it's mm. been. This guy ended up is trying to sue Popeyes for running out of chicken sandwiches. Oh man! Now, man if this guy wins, we could win against KFC constantly. Now yeah. this this is what he's suing for. Damage. So this guy is suing for false advertising and deceptive business practices. He is seeking $5,000 in damages. I don't know what he called yeah, damage. Yeah, I told you damage. But uh, he drove to different uh, restaurants in search of the sandwich and was humiliated by his friends because they were laughing at him. Mm, for um, what? <laughs> for trying to track him down. But during his drive, his car sustained $1,500 in oh. wheel and tire damage. What? What? Uh, <laughs> what is this guy just freaking hot rodding? I guess. I, I'll tell you right now, I'd rather have friends that laugh at me during that than try to hug me. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> what do you well, how the hell do you sustain 1,500 damages in Man. tire and wheel damage? Honestly, just he must. burning out every time that he goes to the yeah. drive through. <laughs> yeah, like when I saw that article, I was just absolutely astounded. I remember when a guy sued Red Bull for its moto motto. Oh yeah, the Red Bull. Oh, uh, probably just be, money. Yeah, because probably I'm saying, hurt himself. If, if this guy gets five thousand for suing su Popeyes, why don't we just go and um, um, 
buy all the chicken sandwiches from a few Popeyes around here. <laughs> as long as it doesn't total five thousand, then we can make money. Yeah. Uh, but you know, yeah. Speaking of that guy, he won a lot of money because it was technically false advertising because it doesn't actually give you wings. Yeah, but I mean, that that's not like the McDonald's lady who sued over coffee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, mm-hmm. that's just him being stupid yeah. and found a a loophole. Yeah. Basically. And I would I would blame the judge for. Is he stupid though? For, if he won? for entertaining a frivolous true. lawsuit, was that? Is he stupid if he won though? Well, <laughs> I think at that point it would be on the judges. Yeah, part, yeah. But yeah, the judge and jury. Stupid, I should say the judge is stupid because he entertained the frivolous lawsuit, and that just makes everybody makes me think that the judge got a kickback. Yeah, the judge, the judge got a kickback. <laughs> probably, honestly, he's probably like the dude's like friend or uncle or something. I mean, here's the thing: it's it's just like when a restaurant is brand spanking new; it just opens. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go the first day. You get excited yeah. for it. You go like three weeks later. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. Like I want to try one, but, but we gotta wait. Yeah, yeah, it's not. It's either not gonna be there or it's not gonna be fresh. Yeah, exactly. it's like it's like, and from one of my friends uh, at the bank, he says you always go to Popeyes on a Tuesday because that's when they get their fresh shipments. Okay, so yeah, that's good to know. Everybody yeah. in the stream, there you go. go Every to Popeyes, Popeyes on has the fresh shipment on Tuesday. Tuesday. That's a lot of Popeyes. That's, that's a, a lot of Popeyes. I wonder a lot the of logistics. fresh shipments that's a hell that one day. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of Popeyes, a lot of shipments. Well, I mean, AutoZone worked like that. They had an, uh, an 18-wheeler that stopped at every single AutoZone uh, in Indy for the day and yeah, dropped rent, off their rent, shipments. That could vary from location to location. Well, that, that makes more sense because that is a lot he, of fucking deliveries in one day. <laughs> 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 He's pointed, you pointed at your receiver. Yeah, what uh, color is the receiver? Oh, good. <laughs> Shadow? No, the guy at the bank. No, oh, wrench. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> is the, it's the farthest from that. that I... <laughs> Wrench is the whitest guy you'll ever meet. <laughs> I think so Mike was trying to say someone is black. Yeah, which... but I didn't want to be an asshole. You can say black people on here. Yeah, no, he means blank people. Yeah, blank people. Yeah, not black people. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I'm not robbing banks. <laughs> <laughs> Or is and me and B and B? No, I've seen his hands before. He's not black. He's white. <laughs> blank, but not blank. black. Wrench is blank, not black. Oh, yeah. <laughs> blank. He's almost clear, yeah. though. You know what's That's funny? I got, I got a funny story about that. Uh, if you guys don't know, Wrench and Hammer streams uh, ev- after every yeah. single lounge. And uh, I've told him twice now that he needed to go put on a different shirt because he blended in with his white background. Yep. <laughs> yeah, he put like a projector screen on, but you know how his wardrobe is basically jeans and, and white, white shirt. shirt. Yeah, uh-huh. so, so it was shut white up, <laughs> Shut up, man. <laughs> white Why background. White t-shirt and then pale ass dude. <laughs> <laughs> so it looks like his arms are basically yeah, just yeah, like float there. Invisible Man Three. <laughs> <laughs> invisible Man Three. I want to be invisible. We haven't even seen two yet. Yeah, we haven't seen the Christ. second one. <laughs> yeah, we've already talked about being invisible. That would be my superpower. See, yeah, the, the best thing is though is he's almost kind of like those cave creatures that you can see their organs and stuff. Like mm. that's how pale he is. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he's yeah. not that pale anymore, but he's, no, he, he's got a, a, a little bit of a tan. But... He's not like 2015 pale. Oh boy, but he's 2019 pale. <laughs> 2019 pale. <laughs> we just added this color to our palette. 2019 <laughs> pale. He uh, has to go outside to go to work pale. Yeah. <laughs> Something finally on top of white on the screen. <laughs> Like, holy shit. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> hey, don't forget, everybody in the stream, that uh, is a su- subscriber yep. giveaway today. So, um, And that's Punch Diablo. That was yep. last month's... Um, and you'll get two of them. Two of them. Yep. Two of them today. So, um, really good cigar. I know Filthy here gave it one of the best Filthy reviews yeah. he's ever like given. Eight or nine? Yeah, eight out of ten. Yep. Eight, eight out, out of ten, ten on the Filthy review. So you know it's badass. You know, you know, you just you know, know it's badass. badass. <laughs> you know, I was, I was thinking about my filthy review the last time I did one. And that was just way too easy on that oh. fucking cigar. <laughs> and I, I can't remember what it was now. So, was okay, so the 175. What is yeah. it? The H up and 175. We're going to get into some cigar talk. I know a lot of people don't like it, but... Um, the H Upman 175 was a really, it was a tasty cigar. I'm going to be honest. 
and he's over here bad mouthing it all the way to the racetrack last night. Man. I'm just like, oh my god, it wasn't that bad. It was actually. Yeah, really I saw good. that. Like yours was like that. You had like yeah. most of the Is cigar it still out lamp. There? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Still out there. We're gonna yeah. finish them tonight. Yeah, I'm but like, still, I was just like, <laughs> no, that was, that was a horrible fucking cigar. Which uh, the racetrack part was out of. Uh, it was muted. Because of the shit show, the yep. beginning of the shit oh, show. Oh man! So if you guys didn't know, we went to the racetrack last night. Actually, and... that's not even the cigar I'm talking about. But let's get to that. Let's... Yeah, no, you're talking yeah. about last week's yeah, the, the, Hoya. The, the last, the Hoya yeah. Black. Yep. Yeah. No, was it the Hoya Black? The Hoya Black was the one that you were kind of like meh with. Yeah, yeah. that's the that's the one I gave. I put the music to ACDC yes. just to give it some kind of. <laughs> yep. I mean, Which it was it was no like sense. a it four. I, the, the Hoya Black is amazing in my opinion. It is, yeah. Oh, you know what's funny? I was talking to the cigars with uh, my boss at Beacon, and he he was like, you know, I, you guys bought me that humidor. I would really like for you guys to set it up, but I want dessert cigars put into it. Oh, Every time God. someone says, I want a dessert cigar, I'm just like, I don't even want to set this up for you. Yeah, oh, shit. Yeah, like, <laughs> just go get him a bunch of, just a box of Tatiana vanillas. So That's what can, I was thinking. Fuck just off. go get him like, a bunch of... <laughs> <laughs> the sad thing is, I was like, do you consider the uh, the Undercrown Shade that you were smoking not too long ago a dessert cigar? Just kind of trying to get uh, where he, his mindset was. And he was like, no, nah, I was too drunk. I have no idea what that was like. <laughs> he was, because he was, he was um, drunk oh, on wine. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Drunk, drunk on wine, yeah, 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 bitch. Yeah, wine. <laughs> I don't know if he's watching this. We're, he's, we're over here drinking beer and... Yo, know, like seven yeah, shots tired. of tequila in a yeah. fucking solo cup. And he's drinking he white wine. To sew up his crotchless panties and buy a fucking <laughs> Get in moods and say they're forty dollars each. Oh jeez, I've had the Sweet Jane. They're not bad. They're not as sweet as you think. Well, that's good. I don't think I've ever had those. Sweet. You said yeah. turd thing you kept calling was a turd. Oh, is that, that what little was? thing? Oh, yeah, you were like, what's that yeah. cat shit? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, Put that thing in my mouth. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> God damn it. Um, I'm actually going to get to our uh, first FTMO answer. Yeah, here. let's go ahead and slide on into that. I have a, feeling, I have a good feeling about this. Uh, this one was, was pretty funny. I got a vibe. So just to remind everybody here, blank uh, man, not black it man. was, uh, you know, blank man chews up a police car seat after a cocaine arrest. Mm. Man, that has to be Florida. And, <laughs> you know, it was it was so wild. And there's just there's so many states that have a cocaine epidemic, basically, yeah. uh, that it would be really hard to pinpoint. But this one was, in fact, Florida. Oh, God damn it, <laughs> man. Jeez. God damn it. All right. So, well, I have not figured this game out. <laughs> it's impossible. It's seriously impossible. I mean, it's definitely not a Sudoku. But I mean, okay. <laughs> it's got a little <laughs> Florida man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. it does. Yeah, well, you get you can... man on the same page. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you can always bet on Florida yep. being yeah. one of the best. Like, yeah. if you want like sixty percent guarantee, yeah. you go with Florida. Yeah, you yeah, just got to go. You got to put odds on. I've lost so much money at this. Gym. What, a 50 to 1? I mean, yeah. 50 to 1. <laughs> That's your risk. No, it'd be, it'd be like, Florida would be like 1 and a half to 1. Yeah. 1 and a half to 1. <laughs> one maybe, and a half to 1. Maybe 2. What's wrong with dessert cigars? <laughs> sugar tits, don't even get me started. Welcome, sugar tits. <laughs> As you can tell from our laughter, you can tell what's wrong with dessert cigars. No, but that's... She's the one I would expect to want a uh, dessert cigar. <laughs> yeah, not, true. not the owner of a plumbing no, company. No, she's a little too <laughs> hardcore, though. Yeah. But not hardcore. the owner of a plumbing company. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> not the owner. yeah, exactly. White wine, <laughs> dessert <Man>. cigars. <laughs> <laughs> and a shoulder rope from a, a hulking guy. Oh, but <laughs> Speaking of uh, Florida, uh, Disney, uh, their park, they just released, or just a uh, opened uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, which is kind of a new area in the park that is all Star Wars themed. Okay. Well, in that particular portion of the park, they have um, Diet Coke, Coke, and Sprite bottles that are in the shape of a thermal detonator from Star Wars. Oh my gosh. And that's the awesome. TSA banned them for a little bit because they thought, you know, they were real. yeah, they were real. Oh, well, awesome. just today, they reverted that ban because so they realized banned. how stupid it was. Yeah. Well, no, okay. it's, oh, they're, they're yeah, they're, yeah, they're okay, unbanned. Okay. But yeah, I but thought they were we really cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's no, like, we can bring yeah, awesome. And people are were 
taking them out of, you know, you know, buying them in the park and selling them on eBay for like 40 bucks a pop. Jeez. And you Are can they that get detailed? Not really. Not really. I mean, <laughs> it still looks like a Coke bottle and it's like it's plastic with a just just a wrapper it's around just a it. Okay. And they look cool, but yeah. not forty dollars cool. I'm pretty sure like they they're like eight dollars in the park and something like that I would pick up for eight bucks, not forty. Yeah. <laughs> What are some good dessert cigars? Oh, we're getting De back no, on No, he dessert. said desert cigars. Oh, des desert cigars. So um, if you're going to be in the desert, I would say... Don't I would smoke say, a cigar. Yeah, I mean, you'd probably have to, you probably wouldn't need a humidor. I mean, I just, no, you would. You would. You'd need yeah. a humidor. Any low-budget Romeo and Juliet, <laughs> you'll get your desert cigars. Yep. Your mouth will be so dry yep. after one of those. Yeah. It's ridiculous. Yeah. It's like drinking whiskey for a night of party. <laughs> you'll wake up and be like... <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Blowing a, a, a .08 on the way to the party. Yeah. <laughs> All whiskey, cotton All mouth. Whiskey. Uh, that's cool. Uh, some places that have um, some cool cups. Um, the Astros, their collectible cups are pretty. Slim. Yeah. Yeah, they're really cool. They have like uh, 3D and bezeled versions oh, that, of the players. That is fucking stuff. sweet. It is pretty sweet. Can you use cigars and whiskey? I suppose. Oh man. I wouldn't you know, want to, but. Uh. Speaking of that. I, I want one. I, I've tried. I just can't get any paper around them. <laughs> God Jesus. Damn. Come on, sugar tits. You fell into that one. <laughs> oh, my God. Yeah, smoking jackets would be awesome, though. I, I would love to get... Especially when it comes to the smell. Yeah, smell I would love to get a tectonic smoking jacket. Here's the thing, though. It's too hot in Texas to have a fucking yeah, smoking jacket. Yeah, nobody wears jackets here. Yeah. I mean, maybe in the... <laughs> In, like, February, when it gets down to 70, 80 degrees. Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> uh, to go back, I totally forgot. Shadow card there. Use a cigar as a whiskey straw. You know what some people do? Um, especially on Instagram, they'll dip the uh, part they inhale on in whiskey. Oh. And then they'll... Did you do that once and it was pretty nasty? It, it was nasty, <laughs> but I, I also had a bad cigar. Yeah, that's so true. You, you gotta really have a cigar that you enjoy and give it a whirl. A one that you know is. Do you think bully? She's, she's getting bullied. She isn't getting bullied. <laughs> Trust me, this this is very light. She, she she can take it. Yeah, she'll come she'll come back and bully us. No, we would never smoke in the house. No, we're not. Good thing the audio was muted at the beginning. We're not smoking at the house. Not very in the house. Nope, not at all. Rum. Oh, rum. Oh, uh, rum. Oh, rum. Yeah. Uh, or you a spice rum would be awesome. Yeah, spice rum yep. would be really yeah. good. You know what you don't want to smoke with a cigar? Tequila. <laughs> no, no, it's tequila. fucking nasty. Well, yeah, that would unless be you have a Hoya Silver, and then it's and good. then it's delicious. <laughs> whatever. <Yeah>. Chill. Whatever. <laughs> whatever. <laughs> it's 106 degrees out. Sugar tips. I think we'll be all right. Yeah. <laughs> putting his big pin through. You don't want tequila ever? What is Dude, wrong with you, boy? Awesome. Oh, tequila's awesome. He's from Germany, though, so... Oh. They have real beer. Back, back for five minutes. minutes. Five minutes. Yeah, yeah we got a plus trap. Speaking of which, uh, plus trap, whenever you do hit that uh, subscribe button, we I got have something for you. a special slide for you of giraffes with gills. Yeah, so, uh, whenever you hit that button, let me know. We'll go live and go. We'll, we'll, we'll slide through those. We have we all have. That alcohol. is true because yes, I do. don't I don't okay. like gin. Let's go around. I don't like gin at all. He doesn't like gin. Why don't you like gin? Uh, just something about just when it hits my tongue, just the taste of it. I just can't even swallow it. See, that's the thing. I love gin. Gin is delicious. I, I, I don't mind gin. Yeah. The only problem Especially, with gin yeah. is it puts me asleep. Oh. Puts oh. me asleep quick. I, I like Tangray. Tangray is awesome. Uh, that's what that's what yeah, I. Yeah, that, that's what I was, my my first. First drink I ever had that I threw up in with was Jim, uh, Jamaican rum, 151. Really? Yeah. Oh. And wow. it was with Orange Crush. How old were you? Orange Crush. <laughs> oh, yeah. Orange like, Crush age. So. 18, 18. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it was it was a horrible night. No, no, <laughs> if, if Orange so, Crush uh, is involved in a yeah, mixed drink. Yeah, Orange Crush and uh, Jamaican rum, 151. Yeah. Man, that was the nastiest shit. But I was. Speaking of which, I, I have my shit. drink here. Yes. Like I'm drinking, drinking brandy with a cigar. Gin kills my throat. I'm drinking a screwdriver right now. <laughs> I'll be drinking with you on the street, though. I'm drinking yeah. water. <laughs> I'm drinking a water. I'm not drinking anything. Um, uh, my worst alcohol would be uh, Goldschlager. 
And not because it's bad, it's actually super I delicious. love gold slaughter. <laughs> um, and the fact that the gold cuts up your throat so you inject it yep. quicker is fantastic. So that that falls in one of those categories, though, that um, some of those like flavor, like cinnamon and stuff like that, they feel so syrupy after a while, especially if they get a little warm. So if it's not ice cold, I don't like it. Yeah. So but if it's ice cold, if it's like out of the freezer, ice cold, I mean, I'll drink gold slaughter all night. I would say that if larger. it... Probably not warm. Logger. Oh, jeez. Lager? Yeah, that's probably not lager. Yeah, gin by itself. Uh, get I out of here, Shadow Card. Gin is delicious. For for me, I definitely can't do it straight. Any drink that has gin, it, gin in it, if it's mixed, like a, was it a Moscow Mule? Or not, yeah. Not a, yeah or just any mule, basically. Yeah. I can taste basically the gin over everything else, and I just, I can't really, I have to basically choke it down. Uh, you know what's funny is, like, Goldschlager, I can like drink it, mm -hmm. but I can't swallow it. Yeah. Because uh, it, I've drank so much of it that I've gotten sick from yep. it, and it's just like it's super good, but I yeah. just can't do it anymore. Yeah. And, you know I, the steer piece. Somebody part, tell me they, one time they got a gold piece in their filling one time and it hurt. <laughs> That's <laughs> yeah. a little shock. Man. Yeah. So, uh, Is that true? Yeah. So who was that? I think it was James. He got a gold uh, piece on his filling he had, yeah. and it was just like shocking pain yeah, through his yeah. teeth. But I don't. It's weird. Yeah. He's a weird kid, so I don't know. It's <laughs> a weird kid. So no. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Strange is good to you if you want to experiment with GNTs. G with Gint, with? Yes. Gint. Gints. 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 What's a gint? What is a gint? Meme greed. Yeah. Strange. If it's mixed, it, it seems like it would go with a sharp citrus. Yeah. Yeah. Anthrac. Yeah, 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 specifically Anthrac. Just for you. Gin. Just for me. <laughs> gin and tonic. Yeah, gin and like tangere and tonic. That, yeah. To me, that's awesome. Yeah. Sugar tits thinks it smells or it tastes like Christmas trees. <laughs> <laughs> gin and tonic? Personally, never. Yeah. Really? Tangere and tonic. Yeah, that's, okay. Yeah, yeah I can see that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I know tangere. Okay. I actually just got reminded uh, in one server um, we need to pick up some amaretto. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because I saw it not so long ago. Yeah, amaretto is amazing. But, yeah. You know what I picked up just now? Uh, I don't know if you saw this. <laughs> you <sugar> him. Tits. <laughs> <laughs> hey, yes. calm down, that Shadow Malibu Card. That Malibu rum with cor with uh, oh, coconut, coconut flakes good is shit. amazing. That's, it's yeah. good shit. Yeah, Shadow Card. You can go <laughs> fuck, fuck off, Shadow off. Card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, if nobody knows this already, there's 11 people in here right now. Sugar Tits is my mom. Yep. So you guys better fucking chill. All right. <laughs> so we have we have Milton Johnson, who is his dad. We have Sugar Tits. <laughs> who is his mom. She's done more partying than all of us. I can guarantee it. And yes, it's weird that her son is calling her sugar tits. But <laughs> yeah, I agree. <laughs> it is fucking weird. Funny. What else am I supposed to do? Am I supposed to go around saying, oh yeah, then, no problem, mom. And, and then, do it with your mom. Do it with your mom. And, and, then, yeah, and then his shit. friend is calling his mom sugar tits. Yeah, no, sugar tits is a party animal. Yeah. Just so you all know. Just call, Just her call mom. Her mom. From yeah, that would be funny. That would be really that funny. Would be funny. <laughs> hey, mom. Shadow card backtracking like a motherfucker. JK. <laughs> no, JK. You don't have to JK. You just have to not bully. You just not bully. <laughs> <laughs> just not bully. <laughs> Oh, so geez, I, uh, I, I saw another really funny article uh, earlier this week uh, yeah. about the Pope. Oh, jeez. He ended up getting stuck in an elevator in the Vatican. You know what's... And they had to rescue him. The, the firefighters had to cut open the, the elevator to rescue the Pope. That's awesome. <laughs> that must be an old-ass elevator. Yeah, yeah it it's probably. Yeah. It's, I mean, it's the Vatican. It's probably yeah. still using, like, ropes and, like, oh, yeah. a little servant boy pulling the... Yeah, yeah. Well, he probably My didn't have his magic hat on either. <laughs> so what you get, Pope? <laughs> Stupid ass. I think, like, okay, this might be a dumb nope. question. Nope. Nope. God, God won't save nope. him from that elevator. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the Pope travels way too much. I mean, is he just a figure? Does he not actually mm -hmm. work? Yeah, he's he's right now. He's basically. The, the Pope has basically been diminished to just an international figure. International figure, yeah. It's kind of like the Dalai Lama. I bet you he has so many frequent flyer miles built up oh, that when yeah. he's not the Pope, 
Oh my gosh. He, I, I think I think that's well, just... Well, don't they die as Pope? He's, 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 mm, he's, I don't know. He's in charge of the Catholic Church, but I think he's more or less... Church doctrine? Not, he's not... He's, he's kind of like the President of the United States. He really doesn't make decisions. Yeah. Like, you know, he's like, got... Like, he's, well, like yeah. he said, he's, <laughs> he's got everybody <laughs> around him making decisions. He's, he's just out there. He's still in charge of the Catholic Church, but he, he <laughs> still has a council that he goes to. Yeah. That yeah. they all make the decision. Yeah, because he, he kind of gets the final. The, the Catholic Church is based uh, is basically built like the uh, government of the United States. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, I mean oh, you yeah. have your cardinals, yeah. they, your they archdukes. Have your, they have your face. You have your face of the whatever, and then the royal family. It's like the queen, probably. Yeah, right. That's it's what just he just like said. The, the yeah. royal family also yeah. doesn't do anything. No, yeah. they don't do shit except yeah, he, make. He appearances. definitely doesn't have the medieval era power he used to because he used to just, no, just right, be able to crusade. Yeah, yeah. Hey, jelly beans are disgusting. Wow. What Green. the hell? Everybody Green. is just ripping her up. Man. Uh, jelly, geez. Wow, that's ridiculous. Fuck hey, Brit. hey. Yeah, fuck Brit. <laughs> yeah, I agree. They don't do anything anymore. They don't do shit. They don't even make things anymore. What car do they make now? What do you? What car do you guys think they make now? Um, Jaguar? Nope. Tatia. No, that, that's India. No. Um, it's not Bentley because that's Martin. German. Tata. Aston Martin's German. And built by Tata. Yeah. They don't weigh... They build anything? No, Vox... Mini Cooper? <laughs> no, they build... Uh, I, thought, I thought it was Voxels. Did they... I thought they still made the Voxel Astra. That's Australian. Astra. That's Australian. I thought, I thought, I thought the, the Astra was specifically built in the UK. <laughs> Look at the blush. You just come out. We invented the internet! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now I need to get my um, aluminum hat back on. Yeah, see, even Shadow Card was yeah, British. That was built was by Tata. Yeah. <laughs> was British. Yeah, it really yeah, was British. Every, it's all owned by like the same Indian Tata dude. Indian group, yeah. <laughs> it's built in India. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so the royal family really doesn't do anything but make appearances and have kids. Yep. Yeah, That's and badass air shows. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> and, and they keep giving everybody uh, a piece of land over there, and I don't know why they keep doing that. <laughs> How's your guitar over there, sir? It, it's actually really good. I really yeah. like this one. The, uh, the hit, hitting all the right chords, all the right notes. Huh? <laughs> hitting all the right chords, all the right yeah, notes. Yeah, all the right chords, <laughs> all the right notes. You know what's <laughs> funny? That has two, two types of tobacco that are their own cigar. Yeah. The Criollo is its own cigar, and the Corojo is its own yep. cigar with a Dominican filler. Yep. So you have two cigars smashed together with one of their Dominican flavors. Yep. I don't have to give it two reviews, right? No. Okay. <laughs> it's still one cigar. <laughs> it's still one cigar. <laughs> well, I, 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 wouldn't, I wouldn't complain about it, a, a two filthy <laughs> review on that. Any of that no, wacko. Right. Wacko, dude, tobacco. That, 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 the psycho. psycho. The that, psycho. That lounge is on Tuesdays. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, the psycho had the... Filthy double feature. Oh, yeah. man. You guys aren't the the psycho had all the had, had all the ridiculous tobacco. In. Yeah, it did. Yeah, but <laughs> it had a, a Peruvian filler. Peruvian. Peruvian. I've never smoked a Peruvian. No one has. No, I'm no. the only one that smoked Peruvian. Yeah, okay. How's the music? Can you guys hear the music? Um, I don't know what Moongrass is. Or is like the form jazz. <laughs> These different um, names for weed. Oh, okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure, like, electric lettuce. In yeah, electric five lettuce. words rate your cigar. Oh, God. In five words rate your cigar. Um, Can um, I just use three? <laughs> um, or does it have to be five? Hey, that's pretty good. Hey, that's only four. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Which one? Man, yes, five. I will yes say to three. Five or... words. Plus, is putting us on the spot here. Oh, max five. Oh, max five. Okay. Absolutely okay. fucking amazing. <laughs> Absolutely fucking amazing. Okay, uh, mine would be Swift's Alps Hot Chocolate Deliciousness. There you go. Oh. Now, now I feel like an idiot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see, what am I supposed to do? Top that. This, this is. Does it remind you of the bear? Mike Sitka <laughs> just smacked my ass. God damn it, that's six. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. I never get that shit right. I never get that shit right. Uh, so <laughs> never you, get that shit right. Wait, you know how we, we've talked about the I onion before? The we, we've talked about the onion. Mm-hmm. So they made a, a, a little funny post on their on their front page. It said, "Breaking news: The onion on the verge of collapse after not being able to make up shit that is more idiotic than current reality." <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Number yeah, yeah, wrench. Counting is hard. It's there's okay. Two, there's two kinds of people in this world. <laughs> Those are, oh, I messed that up too. Yeah, you did. There's three <laughs> kinds of people in this world. 
Those are okay. count. People okay. that can't talk and people that can. <laughs> you messed it up again. <laughs> Never mind. Oh Jesus! You better ask Jesus. Are, are are you? Have you been drinking and not telling us? No, I haven't. Did you That's just like? Problem, did you just hammer a forty in there? Speaking of which, let me swig down my second screwdriver. My mouth doesn't seem to be in cooperating with my brain. <laughs> oh yeah, you guys see the video on stream. Uh, those matches are glued together. Fun yeah, fact. they are. They are glued together. Fun fact. Uh, they'll, they'll get back around. <laughs> they'll get, yeah, that, was a perfect, that was a perfect. Music is good. Thank you, the only person that listened to my comment. All right. Thank back you. to work. All right. Thank Have you. fun at work. Thanks, we'll, Mom. We'll see you in 10. <laughs> we'll see you in 10. So um, we'll kind of get into this one. Uh, uh, Blank yeah, man uh, doesn't get a straw and attacks a McDonald's employee. Oh, and that's man. Blank man, not Black man. Yep. Um, I, oh, you know what? I've seen this one. Yeah. I've cheesy dude. Ooh. I have seen this one. Um, I can't remember the state though. Ooh. I've seen it though. You cheesy doodle, but I, can't remember the I answer. I doodled, and I'm gonna go other Georgia. Okay. Um, it, it, it's like uh, it's like when you get if you ever got the test answer uh, index from a teacher or whatever without them realizing it, and you're like, oh, I'm gonna ace this test because I have all the answers in front of me. And then you forget all those correct answers. What kind Shadow of card is yes to two states, which is totally out of the rules. It's illegal. At yeah. three At now. Three. Oh, God damn. Is he gonna just name all fifty states? Yeah, that's three. <laughs> uh, and by by the way, they they're glued together specifically so they can all stand up how they are. You know, they're, they're He's all defending f- his glued matches. <laughs> I worked a whole four <laughs> seconds on that. I deserve validation. I remember this because at like 12.15 he was going around. He's like, I need to find my hot glue gun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, you'll be fine. Uh, you'll let's, be go, fine. let's go ahead and move into uh, rom-com. Oh, rom Oh, shit. <laughs> Put him on the spot. <laughs> no, no, no validation. No validation. No, no, no. Okay, okay. Today's rom-com movie is the baseball classic Bull Durham. Yes, sir. Starring yes. Kevin Costner, Jesus. Susan Sarandon, and Tim Robbins. Tim Robbins. Now, being a big baseball fan that I am, this is actually a really good movie, and uh, it, it's funny as hell. It's the funniest baseball and, movie. And the, the comedy, or the, rom- the romance part, is put back on the back shelf long enough to actually enjoy the movie. Honestly, it's probably one of the. It's up there with some of the funniest movies yeah. in general. But the the baseball parts, because uh, it, it follows a minor league player. It follows Tim Robbins. He's a, a rookie that comes up, and he's actually they bring a veteran catcher in to help him because he's not maturing fast enough. And they run into Susan Sarandon, who is a a, a fan, a super fan of the Durham Bulls. It's a real team in um, Durham, North Carolina, and. She brings it to everybody's attention that she sleeps with one player every year. And then the next year, that's, that's basically what the premise is. So she's trying to choose between these two because they're the finalists of yeah. who she's going to sleep with that year. So they're both kind of fighting for her, but they're also trying to play baseball at the same time. <laughs> but the, what I like most about the movie is that the, the actual baseball scenes, the locker rooms, the you know dugout stuff like mm-hmm. that, is actually pretty close to perfect because the guy, his name is Ron Shelton, he made the movie, directed it, and all that, but he was a minor league baseball player. Oh, okay. mm, so right. he kind of got the idea from actual life experiences. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, so that's what makes it really cool. Yeah. You know, it's a pretty cool movie. Now, it's, um, you know, it's, it, maybe I, I haven't seen it in a while. Um, they do it. Playing baseball while having sex sounds hard. Yeah, it is. It is, but it's not impossible. So, so like, the pitcher is, like, getting the some pitcher's action. The pitcher's the pitcher, wall. and the catcher's the catcher, motherfucker. That's, well, that's true. Yeah, <laughs> that's where they get that idea from. <laughs> yeah, that's why they have an all-star game. <laughs> that, um, but anyways, <laughs> been your bed now for a week. Oh, <laughs> wow! <Jeez. laughs> Shadow cards on fire. But the um, but the movie I, I watched it about what three months ago, and it, and it holds up over time. Oh yeah, it's real yeah. funny. Even though all those actors are pretty old now, even Tim Robbins, Susan Sarandon, uh, getting up there. 
but some of the lines in there, I mean, there's line after line of one-liners that can come back and just are classics. Yeah, they're awesome. Um, so it's definitely a movie you can watch. You can take um, a significant other to go see. You guys make it too easy. Like a bad <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the silence is trying to read shadow cards. Yeah, we're trying to reach, keep here. up with shadow cards. He's, uh, he's rolling. He's on a roll. But, um, so uh, over, overall, as far as a rom com goes, I'm gonna go with four, four out of five. Really good. But as a uh, overall movie, I'm gonna be pretty close about four out of five. Yeah, it's yeah. really good. Yeah, I would well, definitely good, four out of five. Score. Yeah. It's a hell of a movie. Yeah. Uh, I just enjoy how it's all set up. It's kind of got that wild thing to it. The pitcher can't throw a, a pitch for shit yeah. until he. Starts wearing her underwear yeah. and yeah. shit. It's, it's, yeah, it's hilarious. Yeah. Can't read my shit posts out loud. No balls. We already have. We them. already. We yeah. do. We're just quiet. You guys make it easy, like a fat chick. Or yeah. One with daddy issues. <laughs> or one with daddy issues. Or one with. <laughs> I'm on an angle here. <laughs> it, it's like that kid that always gets called out uh, to read in class who just can't actually read properly. Oh, so he's, oh, yeah, he's like, awesome. every that. other word pauses. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, he has to think about and, it. And that's why everybody starts reading ahead real quick and like, like yeah, right, we're done. Yeah. <laughs> and then they shut out. They're just like, <laughs> it's right. like, oh my God. Or the stutter. And, and, yeah. and, and, <laughs> every, every goes, or like when they used to do, uh, like back when I was in elementary school, they would have like, one kid read a chapter. Yeah, and the kid who could never read properly always got like the longest chapter. Yeah, exactly. You're like, oh my god! Yeah, we had those in my high school. But books? <laughs> I bet I would we hope did have so. books. I would hope so. They hold my spitter. Oh geez. So um, yeah, but those those stutters, man, those they'd sit there. I, you know, you, you see them turn red because they're trying to get this shit out. Yeah, you know, they can. Like, yeah. I don't know why the teachers pick them like that. Yeah, no shit. I mean, there's got to be an asshole teacher to pick a stuttering yeah. kid. Yeah. Oh, and that means they're all assholes because yeah. every single class I ever had that had read aloud, mm. they always pick the stuttering guy, and it's always close to the end of class. Yep. And the bell rings, and we got to stay and listen to yeah, this fucker read this. Bit, yeah, yeah. It's easier done than said. Oh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> hey, the and every time I, I hear "Hold My Spitter," all I can think of now is, is, is Letter, letter Kid. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do this! Hold my spitter! <laughs> I have a stutter and I can relate. Yeah, I can yeah. imagine. Yeah. He's like, that's it, hold my spitter. He's like, but I can't but, hold your spitter in my spitter. That doesn't, that doesn't work. That doesn't work. <laughs> so does, does your stutter get better over time, or is it... Or are you just stuck with it? Is it like a... Um, Letter kid's that. I don't know, because I've never really thought you about can, it. You, you don't see too many adults. I mean, I, I, I've known adults that have a stutter, but... It has to get better over time, right? Yeah, and, and some they'll they'll go through like uh, therapy and stuff like that. Yeah, it went speech therapy. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's an anxiety issue sometimes. Yeah. So is it just uh, so when kids have a stutter, do they not are they not offered the speech therapy or is it just uh, something you just outgrow? Uh, I know when I was a kid, I had a decently bad stutter, but after reading and doing like kind of speeches and talking a lot, I ended up kind of growing mostly out of it. So. Every so often, you'll kind of hear me when I, yeah, yeah, do my little stutter. But other than that, yeah, it's not too bad. I don't know much about uh, people who stutter. I used to always have to say he's like a dog with DJ. Damn, damn. They should do that just for normal school. Yeah, they should. They should do that for just uh, yeah, normal speech. Tongue, just like that. tongue twisters. What plus trap? Aren't you supposed to be at work? Yeah, damn, get back yeah, you're work. supposed to be at work. <laughs> <laughs> what are you about to start? <laughs> <laughs> no, there's a lot of S's. I'm guessing the S's are probably the hardest letter to, to say. I mean, that just kind of reminds me of, uh, was it Jimmy out of uh, South Park? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Jimmy. Okay, Dad. 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 Rich and Hammer is even telling you. I'm going to try to speak. Fuck, my Wi-Fi three went super thoughts. potato. Yeah. Man, yeah how, how can your Wi-Fi not just handle audio? <laughs> hey, we've got a video, okay? We yeah. have a little bit of an image. Oh, yeah. yes. <laughs> Every time it spins around, his Wi-Fi fucks up. It's like, oh, no. <laughs> after it completes the rotation. I have the stream set to 1,000 It's like a, It's like one of those wind-up like, wind like, toys. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> he has to good. wind his Wi-Fi up. I did, do like a Gilligan's Island thing where you ride the bike and it keeps the power going to your <laughs> Wi-Fi. You, you get exercise. It's like, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. At the same time. <laughs> it's a win-win. It's a win-win. 
All right, I've got one 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 headline here. Uh, let's see what you guys' opinion on it. But this lady was in North Carolina. Okay. So we know it's gonna be a shit show. Um, her son was getting bullied on the bus. Okay. Mm-hmm. So on Friday or Thursday, one of the two, she shows up to pick her son up from the bus with an AR-15. Oh. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Wow. I didn't read the whole story because I wanted to see what everybody's thoughts were first. She wow, wow, wow. Probably got a, probably reported and then arrested. And her child's probably going to end up getting taken away But if, away you, have a, if you have a carry license, though, you can carry it. No, actually, you don't even need a carry license for rifles. Oh, you Not don't? Texas. No. Specifically no, Texas, no. too. No, that's, that's I nation, thought that was that's just nationwide. concealed carry. Yeah, that's only for pistols. No kidding. Um, the rifles in every state except for California, New Jersey, and New York, you're allowed to just carry it out oh. in the open. Yeah. So, so, so there's no problem. It's not even a story. Uh-uh. No, as yeah. long as it's a registered license. But it's a people could cons- consider that a threat, and then she could see, either see some jail time, or yeah. you know, her kid could get taken away from her or something like that. But yeah, I don't it's think like, she would get her kid taken away. But no, I mean, she'd have an argument. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Heck yeah. Yeah. I mean, she's being pro- preemptive about her kid getting bullied. Yeah. And a lot of a lot of parents don't even. They don't even consider it a, like a thing. Yeah. So they just kind of ignore it. Yeah. yeah. So honestly, props to her for kind of at least taking advantage yeah, of it. In, but, yeah. I don't know. Have you seen that? God, right on yes. freaking vlog. Um, there was that. Uh, there was also a kid uh, who. Yeah, that's psycho. There was a um, there was a kid who stopped a home invader and shot him. Um, and every, I think he ended up doing like a Fortnite dance. After he shot the dude, <laughs> but the, like the dude's fine. He got you know he got arrested and all that stuff. But the kid's doing a Fortnite dance after he shot the guy coming in. Well, uh, here's the thing, though: a shirt's a shirt. A shirt's a shirt. Yeah, but it's a it's like that that shirt you're wearing right now. It's like one of your favorite shirts. You got a little blood on it. You'd still have it. Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. A, I don't know. I, days in a row, of course, my favorite shirt. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, or yeah, or that's or, the new thing. Or like I said, like Call of Duty when you get teabag. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just get over there and get teabag. Tea <laughs> oh, you so, decided yeah. to invade this home. Imagine the U.S. military right now. <laughs> if everybody, <laughs> hey, oh, Fortnite hey, dancing. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I got, I got one. Did you teabag him to confirm it? Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> teabag to confirm. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, Nightbot's always struggling with that one. Yeah, I don't. What is what is the alias? I I think there's a. I don't know. That's weird. I I don't know what that command is supposed to be like. Just just go all over again. (laughs) Speaking of which, esports news. I love esports. I I watch the shit out. I I need to start getting. Um, Thousand or one hundred thieves. You know who one hundred thieves are? Um, That used to be the captain of Phase Clan. Okay. Decided that he was not going to partic- participate in the Call of Duty World League next year. Really? Yeah, because they want to move to a city-based team style, and he refuses to invest money into the city. I read up on this too. The city and state. If you're going to rock a city or a state name, um, you have to pay a um, kind of like a deductible. Okay. Um, and then you have to read their rules and guidelines. And the for them to even use uh, a city's name, they would have had to pay like $1.5 million. Jesus. Because they're in California. Yeah. So it's, I mean, that's big bucks right yeah, there. They're in L- L.A. So it'd be like, it'd be the L.A. Thieves or something like that. But, yeah, they... See you, Sugar Tits. <laughs> See you, Sugar Tits. <laughs> <laughs> right. Have a good one. <laughs> Bye. Yeah. <laughs> also, we need one more spot for the fantasy football draft, and we're going to draft Wednesday. So... Um, if you want an invite, hit me up in Discord, yep. um, and uh, we'll get you we'll get you in there. But by them saying that they don't want to participate, uh, I think is going to hurt the CWL yep. because they're going to be a team short. Yep. Um, but you never know. Call of Duty's got the money. Uh, um, I don't know why Hundred Thieves doesn't go to Call of Duty and tell them the money situation. Yeah, because that I feel like it's got to go both ways. Uh, and they've got the players. They this, should. I mean, also this year especially, they're are they they're going to be using Modern Warfare, right? I mean, oh well, maybe. Um, I think that would be the most viable. Um, it, it would be just like it, they work like how Smite works. So okay. if you guys don't know what Smite is, it's LOL, the good LOL. 
That's third, what I yeah, say. It's a uh, um, third person over the shoulder, not bird's eye. Actually takes accuracy. Yeah. It's not lock on, stuff like that. But uh, when they release an update, it doesn't go into terminate form until two updates. Okay. Um, because it allows, uh, oh yeah, 160p. There you go. Um, but it allows um, the pros to get used to that patch okay. and figure out all the new numbers and everything like that. So when a new game comes out, we'll probably it'll probably be about six months. So okay. It'll probably get like two or three more Black Ops 4s, and then when the CWL hits, it'll probably be yep. one game of Black Ops 4, and then the rest of Modern Warfare. So and that that'll be something to watch. I'm, I'm so I'm excited, excited for we that talk game. About every stream, <laughs> I love. I can't wait for this. We get uh, we get the. Uh, was it beta access on the 19th? Yeah, so we get early access 19th and 20, then it's open beta 21st through 23rd. So we get two two days early nice. uh, Call of Duty yep. access. So, um, And we will be playing Gun Game on Tectonic Gaming, Yep, the new channel. And we will be kicking ass. If you guys want to join it, go for it. It's honestly, I just did that for everybody because people want to watch me play games sometimes. Yep. So if you want to join, go for it. Um, let me relight my cigar here. Relight. My Mr. Brownstone has not been staying lit. Mine has been quite amazing. So I, I've been really enjoying this cigar. This is probably one of the best AJ Fernandez cigars I've had. So It is delicious. Uh, so is the Mr. Brownstone here. Um, the New World, though, I've had that. It is yeah. so good. It is really good. Rip to that, not staying lit. Yeah, I, I'm in the direct path of a fan. Yeah, so, so that, that'll, gonna, that'll kind of hit it. Yeah. Yeah, the fan of the ball. Yeah, thanks for everybody joining up today, though. Yep. We really appreciate it. Give us a follow if you're hanging out. Um, our next one will be Thursday. We're yep. not ending it, but yep. just to remind everybody, Thursday at 6. Uh, we'll probably have Wrench and Hammer on, Yep. depending on the schedule and everything. No, no, we're, oh, not no we're not going. I'm going just yet, reminding yet, people. Yet. I knew as soon as I said that. Geez. Here, I'll, I'll do this no, just yet, to make yet, it look yet, like yet, we're going. Yet, yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, we got to give you guys an extended stream because of that yeah. shit show. Yeah, that, that beginning was horrible, so I'll give y'all a little bit more time. Well, if, if it's going guys. out, usually that means they probably either got a bad light or you got a bad cigar. Yeah, so um, it that's really just depends. Third Mr. Brownstone? It's my second. Second? Okay. Yeah, and it tastes the exact same. Um, yeah, I mean, my, okay, granted, I didn't have a very good start on this no. because of the shit show. Um, as soon as we found out there was no audio, I just lit it yep. and then set it down for like a solid five minutes. So doing that usually starts it yep. off pretty bad. Uh, you get a lot of the carbons in there. Um, all three lights were good. Yeah, I, yeah, it's it's just weird. It, you yeah. can't really predict it. Also, this my humidor is rocking right now. Yeah. So it, it's a little too humid, actually. Really? Yeah, which is really weird. Mine, mine has been keeping mine. It has actually rejuvenated a couple of the ones that were dried out. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. So. No, mine, I think it might be a little too much humidity, and I think that's causing some issues. I might need to take some fluid out. Scar jar. <laughs> <for the wind. laughs> I have a 200 stick humidor, so it's yeah. a little fancier than a jar. <laughs> yeah, I've got. I've just got a. I've got a 50 with my uh, my last name and my initial on it with uh, yeah. private reserve on it. You know, it yeah. looks really sweet. Um, yeah, it does. Especially with the glass top yep. and everything like but that. But the glass top has also kind of caused a few issues as far as keeping humidity in. But yep. fish tank humidor. I don't humidor. think a fish tank humidor would work. It's not well, sealed. Well, I'm pretty sure you could seal it. Yeah, it's yeah, a you pain in the ass. It. Yeah, it would be a pain in yeah, the mo ass. Yeah, so. most people just have cigar jars and stuff because they're cheap. I mean, it's yeah. really cheap to do that. You just, just have to get jar. like one of those big, like, self sealing, uh, you know, ball jars or whatever. Oh, is that? Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. and then yeah. you just put like a couple Bovita packs in there and you're all good. You're good to go. Yeah. We're good to go. <laughs> cigar, yeah, just cigar jar, cigar jar. I know a couple people in the, uh, the uh, one of the other discords we're in, they have yeah, cigar, cigar jars. jars. Yeah. I know, I feel like a, a, a chooch with my 200 stick cigar <laughs> box, but I don't care. I'll be a chooch. Yeah. I was like when I went into the cigar shop uh, Friday, I uh, went and picked up uh, the Diablo for Shadow Card and everything like that. And um, I went in there and he was like, what, do you, what can I help you find? And I was like, I need a psycho 
I need this, this, and this. Mm -hmm. And he pointed me to all of them, and I was like, okay, I'm just going to look around for something new here. And he started to show me his stuff, and I'm like, yeah, I've already seen it. Yeah, I've already yep. seen it. Yeah, I've already seen it. I, just, I felt like a huge chooch yep. just being like, nah, I've seen it. Yep. I've seen it. I've smoked it. I've smoked it. But then I was just like, you know what? Uh, actually, I got this. I want Mr. Brown's done this, and I'm ready to go. Yep. <laughs> uh, one he pointed out, uh, I don't know which guy you got there, but... One, he pointed out, uh, I believe it was a 1776, I believe is what it was called. Yeah. It's kind of, it's on the other side of the same uh, shelf set as the Lunatics, toward, at the very bottom. Oh. Um, and he says that those are going fast, um, and once they're gone, they're gone. So. Interesting. I, I was thinking maybe next time I go there, I'll probably pick one of those up, but. Yeah. I'll probably go there next Friday. Actually, no, I'll probably go there Thursday. Mm -hmm. But, I don't know, there's a ton of new cigars coming out. Yeah. Um, I asked him about the Chapter 3s, and he said he had no idea. Yeah. So. Um, the Cigarzilla, I think, is making a, uh, a sampler for me. He only has the Gordos of no them, matter. but, yeah, I was going to snag two of those, two of the Dawn and two of the Fate. Um, and then I was going to snag, uh, he said it comes with two other Venture cigars and something else. Nice. So, very nice. Figured I'd give that a shot. So yeah, no, that'd be good. That'd be good. Yeah. Hey, in cart news, you got anything? Um, the clerk won his first F1 race. Ooh. Oh, finally! Boom! Oh, really? Over Hamilton. Over. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, wow. Hamilton second, late charge by Hamilton, but couldn't pull it off. So yeah, racing news. Leclerc won the first race. Look at that. It took oh, him long yeah. enough. Yeah, <laughs> I thought he's, you'd be all over this. Shit he's today. been in top three the whole year. Yeah. Like yeah. he's been killing it. Everybody says Max Verstappen's the next big boy. Yeah. Leclerc, first year, just crushing. Yeah, like, yeah. come on, you can't beat that. <laughs> Dedicated to the win to the guy yesterday, the, the French guy that got killed yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Which, that's unfortunate. We don't yeah. like hearing that. I yeah. never like to see that. But, yeah, that's that's pretty cool. Uh, the poll was uh, Leclerc and then um, that German shit. What's his name? Sorry, agreed. Um <laughs> so, what's his name? Vettel. Oh, Vettel, Vettel yeah. Vettel was second, so <laughs> yeah. I said German shit. Wait, <laughs> Vettel, are you German. talking about that, uh, the, the French guy who died? Are you talking about the weightlifter? No, no, the, the, F2... the, the, oh, car, the F2 race yesterday. I don't care if a weightlifter died. He, he spun out of the track, was actually <laughs> off the track. Funny. It's not, but it's funny. Yeah, he was off the track and somebody side, or hit him head on oh, shit. from the side. It Killed him instantly. But the thing was, he was off the track and got hit. Yeah. So, yeah, so the driver, it, okay, so it was going up Al Rouge, right? I think that's how you say that, and on Spa. Okay. So you know that turn that's left, yep. full throttle up the oh, hill, yep. right? Yeah, so it's a hard turn to hit, and um, the guy, he hit the curbing, and he lost it and went into the wall, and he yeah. died. Fine, it's perfectly okay, he was okay. And then... So you know who Sato is, yes. right? Indy car driver. Yep. Yes. His nephew was the guy that hit him. His name is like Nugachi Sato. Okay. He he did the exact same thing, but he caught it, went off the track, and boom, right into it. I thought it, it's terrible that it happened, but I thought it was funny that Sato, yeah, part of the Sato family, yeah, it did yeah, that. Yeah, Takuma Sato made that bit, had that big crash, started that big crash last week in yeah. Pocono. And then his nephew right. goes and kills yeah, him. Yeah, it's, it's like ridiculous. man, Sato people need to, yeah. they need to calm down. Yeah. They and need speaking to calm of. Down. Uh, car crashes uh one of my favorite bands um oh yeah sabaton. Uh, sabaton uh was actually in a car crash uh, they were in one of the new uh nissan armadas their big suvs and that the whole front of that thing is like gone and uh they they're not able to actually make their poland uh tour because of injuries wow so yeah that's crazy yeah, that sucks that is crazy. Yeah. So if you're out there driving, just calm down. People. Just calm down a little bit. Yeah, okay. I know you don't listen to kind of the music that I listen yeah. to, but uh, the Racketeers, Okay. you listen to them? I've probably heard them from, like, music with Jack you. White. Jack White. Okay. White Stripes. Yeah. So, uh, okay, this is where it gets into some of my alt-rock stuff. Yep. Some of the alt-rock, speaking of car crashes, reason 20 years since Stephen King was hit by a van. Oh, cool. Interesting. Weren't you hit by a van? Uh, yes, I was, I was hit by, I was hit by a minivan, uh... Almost 20 years ago, I'm just <laughs> were, were you walking with Stephen King at the time? God. <laughs> no. Was he right next to you? Uh, you didn't it, know. 13? No. 
14 years ago. There you go, 14 you years know, ago. So, Mike so it's not there. related, Plush? Just so you know. No. <laughs> it's not, just for your conscience. Yeah, 14 years related. ago, I got hit by a van who was gunning it out of the out of their driveway while I was riding my bike, and she hit me with the back of her van. So it was just a flat surface hitting this 10-year-old kid, and I just went flying. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be so funny. It was like, it's like a, I just got teed off like a fucking T-ball. Yeah. It was just like, well, boom! It'd be one of those things where you like see it, and you're like, oh, shit. 50 points. All right, well, <laughs> yeah, that's it. Yeah. get to work. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it hurt. Officer knocks on your door. Did you see anything? Uh, what part? Uh, <laughs> like, which one? The one where I gave him a, a gave him a rating or <laughs> fifty points? <laughs> and then walked away. <laughs> Got it all on video. But uh, all rock. So the white stripes. So Jack Jack White started as a solo. It was okay. Jack White. Then he got on board with the Racketeers. Okay. And the Racketeers made two famous songs that were then later published by the White Stripes, but released for the Racketeers. Okay. And then the White Stripes quit, and it was just Jack White. Now, Jack White made a couple songs for the Racketeers, then they joined the Racketeers again, and they came out with another album. Okay, that's, uh, that's a that's lot pretty going crazy. That's like a family. <laughs> Fun fact, though... Jack White made a two-song uh, heat with the Arctic Monkeys back in the early 2000s. And Jack White was part of the Arctic Monkeys, but the Arctic Monkeys were called uh, uh, the Recanters. Huh. A lot of lot before of the Arctic going on. Monkeys. Wow. Yeah, it all comes full circle. A lot, a lot of fucking it's, it's fuck. Jack yeah. White's everywhere is what he's trying to say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but like, what's up with all these bands making yeah. bands and then leaving bands I mean, we, to we, make bands? we all know Jack White made several songs for the Beatles back in the day. <laughs> Did so, they? Yeah, he was part of the Beatles. <laughs> oh, yeah. And well. it just started from there. Just, <laughs> went to Pink Floyd for a while. Yeah. Rolling Jesus Stones. Christ. Kiss. Like that. Was a kiss, yeah. For Rolling a Stones. <laughs> Pink <laughs> Floyd. <laughs> He's just fucking everywhere. God's man. He is, yeah, God's he man. is <laughs> the, uh, the whore of the... <laughs> I mean, Metallica <laughs> wouldn't be where they are today without Jack White. It, yeah, that's the bottom line. Yeah, I mean, cool. saying anger, that's all yeah. Jack White. Yeah. yeah. Just the, <laughs> the high-pitched <laughs> snare. <laughs> <laughs> and, and Justice for All was probably the best Jack White album. <laughs> <laughs> but a cool thing about his studio, he had a tenacious, tenacious yeah, tenacious yeah, yeah he wrote yeah. the first two songs. Yeah, uh, he got Jack Black his first uh, movie bit gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we go all day. All day, bitch, all day. <laughs> but uh, his studio, this is legit, is the quickest studio to ever make an album of all time. Really? So what this band did, the Racketeers, they made the album, they had what they were going to play, yeah. went to a studio, played it all in one go, one sitting, all the songs. They immediately took that track, turned it into a vinyl on the spot, sent it to the vinyl company and they made a thousand copies in three hours and sold all a thousand copies in an hour. What the hell? <laughs> yeah, all in just, boom, four hours, they had it done. God damn. And yeah. the entire time, they were getting smashed. <laughs> just booze everywhere. Jesus he, he, uh, Jack Black did a tour on Jablinski. He walked in there and he's like, uh, there was a counter, like an island, yeah. just stacked high, full of booze. He's like, oh, don't worry about that. That was from a few nights ago when we were recording the Racketeers album. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You hear these other bands talking about being in the studio for a year. Yeah, yeah bullshit. It did it in four hours. Yeah. <laughs> like the only band I could I could see doing that would be someone who has a lead that is a perfectionist. Which yeah. would be like, you know, Queen, Queen. with yeah. you know Freddie Mercury. Like yeah. they were there. I mean they you know yeah, Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. like that movie. In co really showed how much of a perfectionist yeah. Freddie Mercury really was on yeah. stuff like that. So yeah. Yeah. that's true. Plus, they were making some pretty complicated. Music. Yes. Yeah. Especially for, for the their time. time. Yeah. 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 For their time, that was really complicated. Man, this thing is really fucking good. Are you done with your dicta? I am done. Dicta. Dick. 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 It started to get really um, strong at the end. Yeah. Yeah. Really that's strong. Good. Yeah. Does it remind you of the bears? It was the bears. The yeah. <laughs> bears. No, the bears. bears have never been strong, especially at the end. <laughs> <laughs> they usually fade out at the end. So it's totally different. <laughs> no, uh, he's done. I'm done. He's done. I, you I'm just gotta, done with my cigar. Right? Okay. 
because of the shit show it's the start the shit show i'll give you a timeline here took us 12 minutes to solve yep so he was already smoking 12 minutes he always pre-lights too for the intro so he he's already on the ball um i'm about nub club territory and time to get to our answer for our second Second fgmo uh so our uh, fgmo here was again a blank man not black man uh doesn't get a straw and attacks a mcdonald's employee Ooh. Now, again, someone brought up a good point with California because yeah. they, they banned the plastic I said Michigan, straws. Michigan oh, you're doing a yeah, homer on homer, that one? I'm going homer on this one. Um, I said Georgia. Georgia? Georgia. Okay. Uh, anybody else? Uh, what were some of the other guesses? Uh, uh, everybody there? Yeah. Uh, anybody so somebody, there? Uh, somebody sure. picked like three different states. Yeah, there. sound cards <laughs> got Florida, New Jersey, and uh, one other place. I think it said Florida. Yeah, Florida, New Jersey, and oh, one other Cali. Place. Cali. So, yeah. Cali. yeah, Shadow Cards got uh, California, New Jersey, and Florida. So let's see if his okay. three bet. If you lose this bet, you owe the stream a subscription. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> that is true. Um, you didn't know that was part of the deal. <laughs> it's Florida. God, God. Fuck. again, God. <laughs> he tricked us. Hit you with a double Florida this yeah, time. Last yeah. week you said, close. "Yeah, last time y'all said something about not having enough Florida." Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <Jeez>. boom. <laughs> Holy crap! I was saying because I saw. Okay. This See, I saw. Uh, I, I thought I saw this one too. I couldn't remember it was Florida. Yeah, speaking of no, which, you're followed. You're not subscribed. Yeah, you're oh. followed, not subscribed. Oh. I'd know. Uh, we'd know. Yeah, we, uh, they are all over this. <laughs> yeah, but I remembered. Yeah, thanks, Ranch. Yeah. <laughs> but I remember. You could have sent me a text and been like, "Florida, motherfucker." <laughs> this is remember. This is coming from the guy who put fucking G fuel in the goddamn refrigerator. <laughs> oh yeah, Jesus. Dude, no, okay. Yes. You know what I almost put? Oh, it said it's right on the list. The screen, top of the list. It says followed. Yeah, no, that's followed. That's followed. that's not that's not subscribing. Sir, yeah. Subscribing Sir. is where you give us money to look good. <laughs> Let's be blunt about it. <laughs> where you give you no. give us money and then you look good. Not you support us. No, you just give us money. <laughs> well, it does it does help us because oh fuck it, oh, no, fuck no. <laughs> oh, fuck no. It, it it allows us to get the cigars of the month for for everybody and all that kind of stuff. That's kind of what it goes towards. Um, <laughs> maybe maybe you and me should be together, get together, and be broke. Yeah, we can be broke up at the Scrape bar. All the change from y'all's couches and <laughs> y'all combine couches. for one for one subscription like, you guys have couches <laughs> <laughs> what yeah we just bought an l but it's a lowercase l, yeah, lower so. case l. <laughs> speaking yeah, of what broke couch. Couch. couch i knew it i called it <laughs> <laughs> green you can't say shit you can't say shit <laughs> to fix my car oh yeah no, no. Yeah. that's a valid reason seems about Is everybody british here. car Ripping my bank account <laughs> So I have a quick question for you, uh, Shadow Card. Um, in your crash, was it your fault or was it the other person's fault? And in your case, could you have avoided that crash? I did just say the shit. I did just say shit. Oh yeah, we just said shit. Don't say that shit. (laughs) Don't say that shit. (laughs) Sir, we don't say shit. (laughs) You have the support, Greed. That's what I'll say. Oh, nice. We'll let him write his blog. Uh, it was just my car isn't good for inspection. Uh, oh, where do you live that does inspections? Yeah. Jesus Christ, there. <laughs> you got yourself oh. a little torch. Every time I relight my Mr. Brownstone, it freaking ignites. I never oh, watch okay, people. Okay. Never watch people um, light their cigars until we came inside and smoked them. Like, <laughs> we better not burn the house down. Yeah. <laughs> Well, no, I, coming out of there. normally I have good lights. Yeah. I don't know what the hell's up with this. I've only lit mine once, and it's been going We do not say swear words, sir. Yeah, come on. Get the hell out of here. Prove it. Prove it. We don't We don't say major swear words. We don't? I mean, we say fucking shit. That's about it. Yeah, hey, calm shit, down, sir. <laughs> All right? Jeez. I mean, I would never say, like, cunt or something like that. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, we wait, got, what? We can't say that. Oh, Definitely we can't, can't say, say that. Yeah, My bad. God. My bad. It's bad enough that Mike has a hard time on wrenching hammer. We don't want to bring it to this. Yeah, one. we don't. We don't. We don't need to have oh you as God. our nightmare and me as no, his nightmare. No, I was nightmare. just using an example, though. I wasn't calling somebody. Yeah, but you can't. <laughs> <laughs> but you, we would say sugar tits. Yeah, but sugar tits yeah, isn't sugar bad. Tits, yeah, that's her name. <laughs> but legally, yeah, legally, <laughs> sugar that's her tits. name. Yeah. Her middle name's. Tits. Well, okay. 
here's a here's a kind of a, a situation. So let's say you're a police officer, you pull somebody over and you ask for their ID, and on their actual ID, first name is Sugar, last name is Tits. What would you do? Uh, I'd probably let it go with a warning. I'd chuckle, <laughs> act super serious, go back, call it in, and laugh with everybody. Like, call, like <laughs> and <laughs> laugh with everybody. <laughs> And then go back and give him a warning. Miss Tits, I'm gonna have to ask you to step out of the car. No, she, she's <laughs> gonna... married, so. <laughs> Mrs. Tits. <laughs> Mrs. Tits. Plus, Trav, I'm glad you're done with work. Um, must that was not like, have been that hard. <laughs> that was the quickest work I've ever seen. Yeah, that's uh, awesome. That's crazy. Were, were yeah, you should... were you trying to like invent a giraffe fish or <laughs> like try to genetically make one? I keep forgetting uh, about this in the FTMO two. Um, but what's up with the super commonplace of people getting mad about their fast food? Dude, I don't know. Like, just in Texas, there's been yeah. two incidents of, like, someone got shot because of something, their yeah. food was late, or, like, someone got in a brawl at a Taco Bell yeah. because of some food issues. Right, I've, I've talked about this before, probably you guys too, but the people's expectations are way too high. Wait, way it's too fast high. When they go to fast food. Yeah. yeah, people go there expecting good food, good yeah. service. Yeah. You can't do that off a of value menu. Yeah, yeah. You know, a place has a value menu. Can't do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, there, there's all, there's that Venn diagram. There's there's fast, cheap, and good. Yeah. You can only have two. Yeah, yeah, yeah right. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah, what I, do you want? Yeah. I, the only time I've ever been mad at a fast food place, and it's not even the fast food place's fault, it was the DoorDasher's fault. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. When yeah, I yeah, order yeah. no lettuce on my damn tacos, and she's like, that didn't make sense, so I put lettuce on it, you can <laughs> go <laughs> fuck off. That like, seriously. <laughs> you don't just change somebody's order because, yeah, because it doesn't make doesn't sense, make quote sense. unquote. It's like, oh, I saw you got Diet Coke. That doesn't make sense. I just <laughs> got Coke. <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, DoorDash is just. Yeah. Dude, I ripped them off so hard. Yeah. Every uh, time I've got it in the back. Don't let people know about that. No, I will. I, if our ten viewers make it big enough to where DoorDash changes their policy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, basically every time you order off DoorDash, get an immediate refund. Your account will go under suspension after a month of doing it. But if you appeal the suspension, you'll always win. I've never lost. And I use a simple sentence. DoorDash never completes my order and never on time. And I always get it appealed. Door, DoorDash is where you order off of their app, DoorDash app, on any restaurant that's participating, and somebody will go pick up your food and bring it to you. Yeah, exactly. Uh, it's not. Yeah, it's it's not in the in Europe at all. No. But. I don't think I've like officially paid for a DoorDash in like two months. No. Yeah. We have like twenty dollars in credits right now. Yeah, it's like Uber Eats and all that yeah. stuff. Yeah, and Uber they're all Eats equally all stupid. Yeah. Yeah, Grubhub. Yeah. Just, uh, yeah. There's. Man, couple. remember that one time I ordered off Grubhub that barbecue? Yeah. And I, you know, it was at work and you know, I was like, man, I'm hungry and I don't want to have McAllister's because I've had it so much. So I ordered something off of Grubhub. Well, there are two of this, the same barbecue place. One is on one side of the city and one is up by us uh, over you know, by Batteries Plus. I ordered it and I thought I had ordered it from the one from Batteries Plus. It ordered the one on the other side of the city at, yeah. during rush hour. So the guy had to spend basically three hours in traffic to get there. And then three hours back because it was at the beginning of rush hour to get in there, and then at the end of rush hour. <laughs> so it was nice and cool down yeah. when he got it. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh, that is a pro tip. They don't ask the restaurants. Now, it depends on the restaurant. If it's a national chain, they ask the restaurant. Yeah. Because yeah. if you order from Chick fil A, it's straight up Chick fil A. Uh, you're, you're there's actually Chick-fil-A. one good point. Uh, there's one, uh, I believe it's called Marsala's mm. uh, Italian. Yeah. And they didn't. Put their um, menu on correctly. Yeah. They put their catering menu. Uh, so a lasagna is like fifty bucks. Ooh. Oh wow! But it's for like a big party-sized fucking yeah. lasagna. That sounds delicious. yeah. But, or or one meal around here. Yeah. <laughs> but like yo, know, spaghetti is like seventy dollars, and I'm like, Holy fuck. Shit. But yeah. no, when you go in there, spaghetti is like seven bucks. That, yeah. <laughs> it's like yeah, DoorDash is funky. Yeah. But, all right. Well. Oh, it's too expensive. We have given you guys plenty of extension oh, yeah. here. Uh, our cigars are pretty much gone. Um, we'll go ahead and do some reviews. I'll yep. start mine off. Uh, delicious cigar, tastes like hot chocolate. Um, so if you want a cigar that tastes like hot chocolate, the Esteban Carrera, um, Mr. Brownstone is the way to go. And I will say it tastes better outside. Is it a dessert cigar or a desert cigar? 
Um, I would say it is a cigar, not neither. <laughs> it's just a standard cigar. A, d a, a desert cigar. <laughs> it still has tobacco, it still has a wood taste to it, but it, there's definitely some hot chocolate in there rocking around. And this is my second one, and it's consistent, because this is a shit. So with that, we'll go over and uh, get a filthy review. Oh, it is that time. Okay, so I got the Camacho Ditka Throwback. And um, for those of you who don't know, Mike Ditka was uh, an NFL football player for a long time, coached the Bears. The Bears. The Bears when uh, they won the Super Bowl in 85, went from there to the New Orleans Saints to end his career like every other coach. <laughs> and he was a very avid cigar and, smoker. Yeah, very avid uh, cigar smoker. Still does. Um, one of the last coaches in the league to really have the attitude of a player. <laughs> yeah. And bring it to the field. So, um, so with that being said, we're going to start off. Um, I think everybody here has heard the, how the review works, but it's got five categories. Each category is based on a scale of one or zero, one or two. Yep. And uh, we're going to start off with the first category is style, and that is how I look smoking it. And in, with, the, with the Ditka label, I wish it was a little bit bigger, yeah. but it still says Ditka on it, still has a half a football on there. Yep. Pretty damn good. I look very good smoking it. Yep. Honestly, I've looked at myself a few times. Um, we have we have mirrors all over the place just yeah, for him. Just yeah, everywhere. Yeah, everywhere. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm get, definitely giving this a two. Two Sweet for style. Damn, two. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, the wrapper. Now, this is what wrapper. What wrapper could I see smoking this with me? Music wrapper. Music. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this week is Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne. Lil, Lil Wayne. Wayne. I can see Lil Wayne smoking yeah, it. Yeah, Lil Wayne can smoke this with me. Yeah. No problem. I'm giving that a one. He's not Jay Z yeah. level. He's, he's up not, there, but he's not Tecton Tech Nine level either. So <laughs> well, I thought you were about to say Tectonic, and I'm like, like you tech little shit. Right. <laughs> <Nine, laughs> no, I'm definitely giving it a one. Apparently, Don't we make music. Pretty good. <laughs> um, the smell. This is basically how I smell after I smoke it with the clothes and everything and hair and what little I have left. Um, I'm giving that a one. Okay. I have a feeling uh, I'd be probably changing clothes or um, chasing sugar tits out of the room if I came in. <laughs> <laughs> um, the music, I'm going to stick with the Chicago theme here. I'm going to go with some Chicago blues with Buddy Guy. Buddy Guy. Well, Buddy Guy is awesome. You guys never heard of him. He, uh, he has a bar right in the south side of Chicago. Um, it's a very popular bar. The, Buddy's, uh, Buddy's place. Give him that a two. The second song in our intro is by Buddy Guy. So. Yeah, Buddy Guy. He's Fabulous guitar player and blues musician. And the last category, the burn quality. Um, would I burn one again? Definitely. Is it a go-to? No. But I'm giving it a one. Nice. Yeah. So really good. I'm um, giving it a seven out of ten. Very nice. For the okay. filthy review. That's not bad. And, uh, go check out Buddy Guy. Go check out Lil Wayne. Um, he should be over here in a little bit. We're gonna smoke another one. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a dick to Siri, a dick yeah. to Siri. So um, it's gonna be hard to find. Yeah. So sorry. Just heads up. Yeah. It's going to be difficult. Especially, to uh, especially that one I had to end up going on uh, cigar bins. Yeah, he had one, to get so. that one specially. So. Yeah. Um, all right, we'll move over to Micah's review. Yeah, so this one, I mean, this had a great burn, great draw, fantastic flavor, fantastic build. Looks amazing. I mean, everything about this cigar is damn near perfect. Yeah. And I gave this bad boy a 94. Yep, that's what I, I gave it a 93. Yeah. So, so this this thing is a solid cigar, uh, especially for the price. I think this thing sits like eight to nine yeah. dollars, yeah. depending on what size you get. This thing is phenomenal. It's fantastic. So yeah. I mean, if you ever see one of these things, pick up as many as you can possibly fit in, into your budget because this thing is great. And then just a heads up, that's the Nicaragua, not not the Cameroon. Yes. So make sure you don't pick up the Cameroon. Uh, that is the just standard yep. AJ Fernandez New World. Uh, I know a lot of people. Why did I go it. through the trouble for the Ditka? Because I'm trying to smoke every Camacho that is available on the market. Very so, close to finishing. And I'm very close to finishing. I'm missing two, no, three Ditkas and a few of the uh, Liberty Series, and then that's yeah. basically about it. Now, other than the new stuff, yep. I mean, that's all it is. 2005. I is. am going to slap you. <laughs> <laughs> Reed, you need to send one, damn it. I'll probably end up getting one before you can send us one. Oh, Plus Trap, welcome back. Uh, you missed the filthy review, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, you want to give him a quick rundown for Plush? Okay, Plush, this is just for you. Get a style as a two, just because I look so awesome smoking it. On uh, the wrapper, 
Uh, we're going with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne, hell of a rapper there. I gave that one. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the smells of one. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh, no, that's not. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh, the music we're keeping it Chicago style, going Chicago uh, blues guy, buddy guy, and buddy guy. Uh, two. And uh, burn quality is a one, definitely um, worth smoking. It. Yeah, yeah, definitely a good, uh, good ass cigar. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the roll for the, uh, re- wow, the giveaway. Yeah. Um, I was about to say do a roll for a review. <laughs> <Ooh>. <laughs> Do it, uh, so if you are a subscriber, um, you are going to be entered into this uh, giveaway. Plus, I did add your name in here. Um, and this will also be for offline people too. So um, if we don't get an answer from the offline people as well, then we'll re-roll next stream. Yep. And see if we can get some. Um, and uh, good luck and thanks. Yeah, no problem. So we'll go ahead and we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, let's go ahead and fill this in with some content. Yeah, while I figure this out. <laughs> well, I am nubbing this thing like i am very close to nubbing this oh that's a longer yeah. stream mm-hmm. so yeah. figured yo with that extra little bit of time i can't nub cigars man it seems like it's too much work <laughs> yeah, <it depends. laughs> too much and work. that's why you're not part of the nub club yeah i'm not part little of the nub club I, you I just gotta do it once it wasn't even worth nubbing it <laughs> <laughs> that's all you gotta do is which do one did once. you end up nubbing uh shit i don't remember it was, it was that bad. <laughs> <laughs> I was just seeing if I could get through the whole damn thing down to the down to the dub. I was like, Man, this yeah, and I was I was so like pressed for like what what should I do for like our pictures in the video, and I was like, well, because the AJ is called the New World, I figured go with something that basically is a new world after the world has ended, which is oh, why yeah. it's all Fallout. Oh, that's cool. So. That's what yeah. Yeah, and so I, you know, I have my little mini nuke from the game that has all the games in it. I have both my Pit Boys. One is a Bluetooth one, which is actually found out uh, they're all defective. Every last one of them. Oh, yeah. They all do exactly what mine is doing, which is yeah. sitting on the loading. And that's that's all they. That's what all of them do. Wow. I don't know why. And then the other one is from the Fallout 4 collector's edition. So. Okay, so we have our winner. Um, I will say Wrench and Hammer won it twice, oh, but I oh. can't send it to Wrench and Hammer. No, we can't. That, that wouldn't be fair. <laughs> it wouldn't be fair. Um, unfortunately, Plus Trap, you didn't win this time. Uh, still subscribe, though, yep. you know, just because next one, you know, you'll be in <laughs> it's it. over like, hey. uh, <laughs> <laughs> but The winner was Nikolai. Okay. So um, what, I don't know if he is currently watching or not. Um, but uh, we'll definitely get a hold of them. Yep. If we don't get an answer from them, you'll have another chance next Thursday um, to subscribe and uh, hopefully yep. win the uh, two Punch Diablos. Yep. Um, so we'll get a hold of Nikolai and see if he's there. So And that, that'll wrap us up for the night. Um, if you guys want, um, if you want more action of us, um, you can hit us up on the Wrench and Hammer stream. Yep. Um, we'll be streaming here uh, in about an hour. We uh, usually like to settle down from this. Yep. And then... Uh, and, Filthy's mic just died, so perfect timing. Perfect timing. Um, which means my mic is dead now. Yeah. <laughs> time, to, time to cord yourself up with your wireless mic. Yeah. But it's not wired. <laughs> bye bye, Filthy. Bye. <laughs> and then um, I forgot what I was going to say next. Uh, follow Filthy Johnson one Join the Filthy yep. Hooligan Squad on Twitter. And then, uh, yeah, we'll see you in the after party on Discord. Um, it's a fun-ass yep. time. All the links are right there. Yep. Uh, have a good night, everybody. See you.